there, but in some ways were hindered. We thank God, as I first stated, first and foremost for Jesus Christ and him crucified. Amen. Amen. We're glad on this afternoon that we have a knowledge of Jesus. Amen. We have a knowledge of him. We're grateful to God for him. And I want to say to those that are listening at this time, by way of radio and those that are watching by way of television, and even those that are watching worldwide, live by way of internet, we thank God for you tuning in. We appreciate you watching. We appreciate all your emails, your letters. We thank God for how the word of God is encouraging so many now. Amen. And we even thank God for you, those that hate the word. Amen. We thank God for you too. Right. Because you in the scriptures likewise. That's right. That's right. Do you understand? Michael, you're not left out the scriptures. You're in the scriptures likewise. So we certainly thank God for you tuning in as well. Let me say to you, we don't just read the positive letters. We got one today from a beloved brother here. I, I don't know this brother, and I will call him brother, although in his letter he won't call me brother. He called me mister. But I'll be mister. It don't matter. Jesus is still alive. That's right. That's it. You can call me what you want. Amen. The Son of God is still alive. Yes, Amen. Yes, you ain't even got to call me Mister. <laughs> my God, man, call me what you want. But Jesus is still, my God, man, the Son of God. He's still alive. He's still in heaven. He's still coming back for the church. And before you die, you better believe in it. Amen. Amen. Do you hear what I said? That's right. yes, sir. Amen. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh, you wrote the right one, my brother. Now let me say this to our beloved brother, and he's no doubt listening, or at least definitely will watch this program. He will send an email on this morning to let him know that his letter will be read. We're doing this to try to help the brother if we can. That's our attempt, not to belittle or insult, but to try to help. And if we can't help him, by all means, we want to help those that have his same belief. Amen. Amen. That's our objective today. So, let me say to Brother Craig Corbett is his name. Brother Craig Corbett, we appreciate your watch. Let us see if we can help you, my brother. Brother Craig Corbett writes, good evening, Mr. Murray. He writes, I have heard you have repeatedly stated there's a son of God in heaven now. Also, you have tried without Bible proof to contradict the late apostle, Bishop S.C. Johnson, in that he says there is no Son of God now. First, I would like to say, as Paul says in Acts 20, 29, that grievous wolves would enter in after his departing and would not spare the flock. This same prophecy is happening now since the late apostle Bishop S.C. Johnson has departed this life. The doctrine you and any other false prophet preaching, saying a son of God is living and is in heaven, you are these grievous wolves. No wonder Jesus said you do error, not knowing the scriptures nor the power of God. My question to you is, what did the Son of God consist of? What did he consist of? He asked me the question, but then he turned around and asked it himself. He said, it consisted of flesh and blood. It now. It consisted of flesh and blood. He writes, the Son of God never existed before Mary conceived it and ceased to exist after he was crucified. We got to take our time, brother. Because let me tell you something. This is 911 here. This brother here needs some emergency help. Do you hear what I say? He need a, he need a spiritual ambulance. Do you hear what I say? My, but never mind ambulance. He need a spiritual helicopter. The MLS is too slow. Do you hear what I say? Brother Corbett, let me help you, brother. 
You ask what did the Son of God consist of, and you stated he consisted of flesh and blood. Therefore, he didn't come into existence until Mary birthed him, and when he was crucified, that was the end of the Son of God. You error two times. Amen. Your first error is when you stated that the Son of God, my God, man, only consisted of flesh and blood, and he did not come into existence until Mary birthed him. Amen. Let me tell you something. The Son of God was before Mary. Amen. Amen. Do you hear what I say? Amen. The Son of God was before Mary. Amen. Now I want to take my time. I don't want to get in a hurry. The Son of God was before Mary. The Son of God was before Abraham. The Son of God was before Moses. And he definitely was before Bishop S.C. Johnson. Amen. Do you hear what I say? Amen. Now, you say he didn't exist until Mary birthed that body. Give me revelation, brother. Amen. Chapter 3, and we're going to start at verse 14. Revelation 3 and at verse 14. What did it say, brother? And unto the angel of the church of the Laodiceans write. Unto the angel of the church of the Laodiceans write. These things said the amen. These things said the amen. My God, some said, well, who is this talking about the amen? All right. You want to know who this is talking about? Hold that, brother. Fall back to 118 of Revelation. Let me establish the fact of who's talking here. Revelation chapter 1 and at verse 18. What did he say, brother? I am he that liveth. I am he that liveth. And was dead. Corbett, brother Corbett. Amen. Now who was dead? Amen. Who was dead? The Son of God was. But he's stating here, I am he that liveth and was dead. Amen. And what you say, brother? And behold, I am alive forevermore. Establish the fact we're talking about the one that was dead and now declaring I'm alive. And he said, I'm alive forevermore. Amen. Now go back to Revelation 3.14. I just want to establish the fact of who's talking here. This is the one that was dead, but now is alive. Amen. Revelation 3.14, what you say, Jesus? And unto the angel of the church of the Laodiceans, right? Unto the angel of the church of the Laodiceans, right? These things said the amen. These things saith the amen. The faithful and true The witness. faithful and the true witness. The beginning of the creation of God. Hold it a minute, Brother Corbin. The Bible said he's the beginning of the creation of God. Amen. Let me tell you something. Mary wasn't in the beginning. Amen. But the Son of God was. Amen. The Bible said he's the beginning of the creation of God. Amen. If he's the beginning of the creation of God, that's before Mary. That's right. That's before Adam. Amen. That's before the animals Adam made. Amen. My God, man, he was in the beginning with his father. What was it? He was the word of God. Amen. You do ever. Amen. Now, don't tell me he didn't exist. Don't tell this preacher that the son of God didn't exist to Mary birthday. My God, man, the son of God was here long before Mary fell from her mother's womb. Amen. Amen. Do you hear what I said? He's the beginning of the creation. Of God. Amen. The beginning of the creation of God. Amen. My God, man, give me Colossia, brother, one in that verse 20. Let's help brother Corbett here. Amen. My God, let's help the brother if we can. My God, man, all thy getting, get an understanding. Amen. Colossians 1 and that verse 12. What did he say, brother? Giving thanks unto the Father. Giving thanks to the Father. Which hath made us meet. The Bible said which has made us meet. To be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in life. Read it. Who hath delivered us from the power of darkness. Who hath delivered us from the power of darkness. And hath translated us. And translated us. Into the kingdom of his dear son. Into the kingdom of his dear son. What you say? In whom we have redemption. We have blood. redemption through the blood of his dear son. Even the forgiveness of sin. Even the forgiveness of sin is who, through his dear son who is the image who is the image of the invisible God. My God, he's the image of the one you can't see. Amen. The son of God is the image of the invisible God. In other words, he's the image of his father. What you say, brother? The firstborn. Hold it a minute. Hold it. That's a stumbling block. Amen. He's the firstborn of what? Of every creature. He's the firstborn of every creature. Amen. That's before Mary. Amen. Right. He's the firstborn of every creature. Amen. The Son of God was before every creature. Every creature. Yes, Don't tell me he started when Mary birthed. Amen. That's when the body started. Yes, but the Son of God was in the beginning.
came with his father. Amen. Do you hear what I said? That's right. I'm just one of them preachers that believe what we can read. Yeah. Yeah. Do you hear what I said? Yeah. I'm away with your revelation. Away with that St. Johnson's revelation. Amen. And see Johnson lied to you. Amen. Amen. Do you hear what I said? My, I'm not biting my tongue. Amen. I said Bishop S.C. Johnson from Bayman Street. He lied to all of you. Hear me talk. Amen. And anything else in Philadelphia that got his doctrine, they're lying to you today. Amen. Do you hear what I said? They lied to you today. Amen. My God, this preacher here ain't ducky. Amen. Do you understand? Amen. Because you can't change what's written. Amen. This stuff is settled in heaven forever. Amen. I said it's settled in heaven. Amen. And I thank God it's settled. Amen. Hallelujah to God forever, oh, oh Lord. Oh Lord. That word Amen. is settled. It's settled. It's settled. Amen. When a thing is settled, you ain't got to worry about it moving. If Johnson come back from the dead, he better come back testifying of the Son of God. That's right. Hallelujah to God. Amen. What did the Bible say, brother? Who is the image of the, in, of the invisible God? He's the image of the invisible God. The firstborn of every creature. Firstborn of every creature. For by him, by this Jesus, yes. were all things created. Yes, by this Jesus, the word of God, which is the son of God, which is the wisdom of God, which is the mediator, the advocate, the high priest. Amen. By him. Amen. By him. By him. Yeah. Everything consists. Amen. It's by him. Amen. What you say, brother? For by him were all things created. By him were all things created. That are in heaven. That are in heaven. And that are in earth. And that are in the earth. Visible and invisible. Whether you can see it or not. Amen. What do you say, brother? Whether they be thrones. Whether they be thrones. Or dominions. Or dominions. Or principalities. Or principalities. Or powers. Or powers. All things, all things were created by him. Were created by him. And for him. And for him. And he is before all things. That's a stumbling block. Amen. The Bible said he is before all things. Amen. That's before Mary. That's right. Amen. Amen. He's before all things. all things. Don't tell me that. That's right. You see, let me tell you, this preacher ain't caught up in Johnson. Amen. This preacher here is caught up in Jesus, Amen. man. Therefore, away with Johnson's God. My God, bring me Jesus. That's right. Let Johnson lay in the dust. Amen. Amen. That's up. Do you hear what I said? Amen. The Jesus that I'm preaching go raise Johnson. That's right. Do you hear what I said? Amen. Hallelujah to God. Amen. My God, I said the Jesus that I'm preaching yes. go raise Johnson and Johnson gonna have to answer. That's right. For every time, every time. he denied this That's Jesus. That's right. Hear this preacher talking. Every knee. Amen. Every knee. Amen. Got the bow to this Jesus. That's right. My God, S.C. Johnson got to come back. Amen. And let me tell you something. My God, he will be convinced at that time Amen. that this Jesus is alive. Yes, sir. Hallelujah to God. Amen. He going to need this Jesus Amen. that he denied while he walked the earth. Amen. My God, but just like you say, he didn't exist. He go, you going to hear him say, depart from me. Amen. I didn't exist, neither do you. Get out, get away from me. Amen. And Johnson is not exempt. Amen. Hear me talk. What did the book say, brother? All things, All things were created by him. Were created by him. And for him. And it was created for him. Amen. And he is before all things. That's before Mary. Amen. He's before all things. And by him, all things consist. And by him, all things consist. Amen. What you say, brother? And he is the head of the body. This Jesus is the head of the body. The church. He's the head. Look, your pastor. Amen. Whether he's dead or alive, it's not the head of the church. No, sir. Amen. Your pastor can't put nobody in the church. Amen. And he can't put nobody out. Amen. Do you hear what I say? Amen. You may tell me to get off your property. I may step off your property, but that's the church stepping off your property. Amen. Do you hear what I say? Amen. My God, man, you can't put me out of the church. Amen. You can't put me in it, neither can you put me out. No, sir. I get off your property, but that's the church just left your property. Amen. Do you hear what I say? The church getting in their car, and the church going out the street. Amen. Do you hear what I say? Amen. Away with your building. Amen. Away with your organization. Amen. I want to be in Jesus. That's right. Do you hear what I say? Amen. My God, when Jesus put his spirit down in you, and you become alive as stone. My God, man, that's place in his spiritual house that grow it into an holy temple. Amen. Amen. Away with your organization. Amen. Away with your bishop. Amen. Away with your apostle. Just give me Jesus. That's right. I'm all right with Jesus. Amen. Do you hear what I say? Amen. I'm all right with Jesus, man. Amen. My God, man. And it ain't Jesus and Johnson. No, sir. It ain't Jesus and no other fellow. Amen. It ain't no J Brothers. Amen. Do you that stuff is out of hell? It ain't Amen. no J Brothers. Amen. 
And any man preach that type of doctrine that's a spirit of Antichrist. Amen. Do you hear what I say? Amen. My God, what did the book say, brother? And he is the head of the body. He's the head of the body. The church. The church. Who is the beginning? Who, who is the what? The beginning. Who is the what? The beginning. Hey, hey, Corbin. My God, Mary went in the beginning. Amen. The Bible said he's the beginning. Amen. What you say, brother? The firstborn from the dead. Oh, really? Amen. Firstborn from the dead. What do you say, brother? That in all things. That in all things. He might have the preeminence. He may have the preeminence. What do you say? For it pleased the Father. It pleased who? The Father. It, hey, hey, brother Corbin, it pleased the Father. Amen. That what? That in him. That in this Jesus. Should all fullness well. Yes, Lord. It's all in Jesus. Amen. That's where the fullness of that is in this Jesus. Amen. Do you hear what I say? Don't tell me, my God, man, that he didn't come into existence until Mary birthed that body. Let me tell you something. The body didn't come into existence until Mary birthed. The Son of God was before the body. That's right. Do you hear what I said? Amen. So I'm saying, well, what was it? He was the Word of God. Amen. He was the Word of God. Amen. Give me St. John 1 and 1. Amen. My God didn't give me 1 John 1 and 1. And then give me Revelation 19 and 11. Let's help Brother Corbin. Amen. My God, let me show you, my God, how the Son of God was in the beginning with his Father. St. John chapter 1. What you say, brother, at verse 1? In the beginning was the Word. Hey, hey. We established a fact. We're talking about something that was in the beginning. Amen. The Bible said, what's the Word? Amen. And what? And the Word was with God. The Word was with his Father. Amen. And what else? And the Word was God. Hallelujah. The Word was with his Father. Amen. And the word was God. Amen. And let me tell you, the word was God and the word is God. Amen. But that word was in the beginning was with his father. Amen. Do you hear what I said? What did the book say, brother? The same was in the beginning with God. The same word was in the beginning with God. In other words, the same word was in the beginning with his father. Amen. Do you hear what I said? Amen. Now give me verse 14 and let's see what happened to that word that was in the beginning with his father. St. John 1 14. What did he say, bro? And the word. And that word that was in the beginning with his father was made flesh. Who was that? Amen. That word that was in the beginning with his father is now being made flesh. And how did we look at it? And dwelt among us. And that flesh dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory. And we beheld his glory. The glory as of the only begotten of the father. That's how we looked at it. Amen. But that was that word that was in the beginning with his father. Amen. And at God's appointed time he spake and the word was made flesh. Amen. Amen. But that word was in the beginning with his father. Amen. Do you hear what I say? Amen. Give me first John, brother, one and one. Let's help Brother Corbin here if we can. Amen. First John chapter one and that verse one. What did he say, brother? That which was from the beginning. Establishing the fact. We're dealing with something that was from the beginning. Amen. That which was from the beginning. What you talking about? Which we have heard. We heard something. Which we have seen with our eyes. What we heard, it was made where we could see it. Amen. What you say, brother? Which we have looked upon. And we looked upon it. And our hands have handled it. And we was able to handle it. Of the word of life. Amen. You mean the word of life? Amen. The word of, you know that word that was in the beginning with his father? And now it's being put in a manner where we can handle it and where we can see it. How is that? It was made flesh. Amen. 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 What did he say, brother? For the life was manifest. That life. Was manifest. Amen. What did he say? And we have seen it. And we've seen that. Life. And bear witness. And bear witness of the life. And show unto you. And show unto you. That eternal life. That what? That eternal life. That eternal life. Which was with the Father. Wait a minute. Amen. That's what I've been saying. Amen. He was with his Father. Amen. That eternal life which was with his Father. Amen. Now remember the scripture that's called him the word of life. Amen. Now it's called him. He's that eternal life that was with his Father. Father. Amen. What did he say, bro? And was manifested unto us. And was made flesh where we could see. Him. Amen. 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 What did he say, brother? That which we have seen and heard. That which we have seen and heard. Declare we unto we you. We declare it unto you. That ye also may have fellowship with us. Hey, brother Carmen. Hallelujah. Amen. We want you to have fellowship with us. That's right. We want you to have fellowship with us, Brother Corbin. Amen. Who is our fellowship with? And truly our fellowship is with the Father. It's with the Father. And with His Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Come on, fellowship with us, Corbin. Amen. Our fellowship is with the Father and Amen. with His Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. You got a whole lot of here fellowshipping with the Father and the Son. Amen. Amen. We go through the Father through the Son. Amen. We understand He's the access. That's right. We understand He's the door. Amen. We understand, my God, that He's our high priest. Amen. We understand He's making atonement for us. We understand He's the intercessor. Amen. We understand He's that Lamb. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. We understand. Amen. We once was in darkness, but God has shined a great light now. And who is that light? Jesus, yes, the Son of God. Amen. Hallelujah, God.
my God, man, I thank God for your letter, Brother Corman. You wrote the right brother. Amen. What'd you say, brother? Truly, our fellowship is with the Father. Our fellowship is with the Father. And with his Son, and with Jesus his Son, Christ. Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Give me Revelation, brother, 19 and 11. My God, man, let's, let, let's get some more, my God. We're going to read some more of this letter. Brother Corman, you wrote two whole pages. My, the broadcast ain't but an hour. I can't read all that. <laughs> But we're going to try to help you as much as we can. Amen. Revelation 19 and verse 11. What did he say, brother? And I saw heaven open. I saw what open? Heaven open. And what happened, brother? And behold, a white horse. A white horse. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. He was called faithful and true. And in righteousness. He in doeth, righteousness. He doeth judge and make war. What did he say, brother? His eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes were as a flame of fire. And on his head were many crowns. On his head were many crowns. And he had a name written. What? That no man knew but he himself. What did he say, brother? And he was clothed with a vest. And Brother Corbin, he was clothed with a vesta dipped in blood. Dipped in blood. And his name is called what? The Word of God. Right. In the beginning was the Word. Amen. That one clothed with a vesta dipped in blood, his name is called the Word of God. That's Amen. Jesus, the Son of God, that was in the beginning with his Father. Amen. Amen. That's before Mary Corbin. Amen. 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 That's right. Amen. Hallelujah to God. He went on to say, my God, man, that after the crucifixion, my God, Jesus, the Son of God, didn't exist no more. Jesus. Let me tell you something. If you only knew what you were saying. Amen. If you only knew what you were saying. Amen. My God, you don't understand what you're saying. I say, my God, man, like the scripture said, forgive him. He don't know what he's doing. Amen. Amen. For he know not what he do. Amen. Do you hear what I say? Amen. Go ahead. If he didn't exist no more, where's your advocate? That's right. That's right. Where your intercessor? That's right. Where your savior? Amen. Where your high priest? Amen. My God, man, you don't have one, Corbin, Amen. and your righteousness is not good enough. Amen. You need an advocate. That's right. You need a high priest. Yes, you need one that God done sealed, Amen. and that's Jesus, Amen. the Son of God. Amen. Do you hear what I say? That's right. That's the one you need. Amen. Tell me he don't exist no more after crucifixion. Give me my God, Acts, brother, three and twenty-six. Hallelujah, God. Amen. Give me Acts chapter 3 and at verse 26. Let's see that he exists anymore. Was he the son of God anymore after he was crucified? Acts 3 and at verse 26. What did he say, brother? Unto you first, God. Unto you first, God. Having raised up his son, Jesus. Wait a minute. That must be a misprint. Because God raised up. You know, let me tell you something now. That's after crucifixion. God raised up his son, Jesus. Amen. And Brother Corbin, Acts 3.26. Get it and read it. Amen. God raised up his son, Jesus. Amen. Isn't you know what y'all Bible said? Amen. No, God, God, God raised up himself. Jesus. Y'all Bible didn't say the Father raised up himself? Jesus. Y'all Bible didn't say the Father came down from heaven and he stepped over in that flesh. Like a man stepping his garment, he got in that flesh and, and, and he, he he raised up and he called himself a son. No, Give me that scripture, bro. Amen. Let God be true and every man a lie. Amen. Johnson lied, my God, man. Everybody that's preaching that doctrine today is lying. Amen. And tell me he did that. I ask you to read it. Amen. And when you can't read it, you're gonna step back out that flesh. <laughs> Do you hear what I said? You might as well step right back out. Because you can't read that stuff, man. Amen. He that believeth on me as the scripture have said. Amen. You can't read that junk. Amen. I tell you what I can read. God sent his son. Amen. That I can read. read that. I can't hear the father going to get off his throne. He going to come down from heaven. Do you think about it now. My God, look here. He's going to break all the law because according to the law, my God, man, the high priest had to take blood into the second tabernacle. Amen. So who did that? Who, who did all of that if Jesus didn't do it? And if he wasn't put to death and raised from the dead, who going to fulfill all of that? Amen. Let God be true in every one of your lives. Amen. Amen. Acts 3.26, what he say? Unto you first God. Unto you first God. Having raised up his son Jesus. Having raised up his son Jesus. Sent him to bless he you. He sent and called. Amen. God sent him to bless you. Amen. Don't, don't take him as a curse. Yes, I know what Johnson's saying. Yeah, no, no. But listen to Brother Murray. Hey, 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 hey twin. I mean, uh, brother, uh, give me a close shot. Come on up close. I want to talk to Brother Corey. <laughs> Come on up close. Go to his camp. Brother Corey. Listen to me. Bishop S.C. Johnson lied to you. Amen. Amen. Do you hear what I say? Amen. 
I said he lied. God knows he lied. Amen. You ought to thank God you still got breath in your body Amen. where you can get away from that false doctrine and accept, uh, accept Jesus. Amen. Amen. Which is our salvation. S.C. Johnson lied to yes, you. Do you hear what I say? Amen. And every one of these brothers that have studied Johnson tapes, I, I said every one of them. Amen. I, every last one of them. That studied his tapes. Amen. And you came out wanting to preach like Johnson. Amen. You want to walk like Johnson. Amen. You want to talk like Johnson. Amen. You want to do all that. Well, you lie like Johnson. Yes, right. Amen. Do you hear what I say? Amen. Oh, you, you look, you lie just like Johnson Amen. did. Hallelujah to God. Amen. You better, my God, man, reject that false doctrine. That's right. Do you hear what I say? My God, what did he say, brother? Acts 3, 26. Unto you first God. Unto you first God. Having raised up his son having Jesus. Having raised up his son Jesus. Sent him to bless you. Sent him to bless you. And turning away every one of you from his iniquities. God raised Jesus up, Corbin, and sent him to bless you. Amen. Accept the blessing. Amen. The blessing is in Jesus. Amen. Accept the blessing. Amen. Say he don't exist. He didn't exist no more after crucifixion. Give me 1 Thessalonians, brother, 1, 9. Let's, my God, go over here and see if Paul going to lie. Amen. Do you hear what I said? First Thessalonians chapter 1 and at verse 9. The apostle Paul moved by the Holy Ghost to say what, brother? For they themselves show of us what manner of entering in we had unto you. Read the book. And how ye turned to God from idols. The Bible said you turned to God from idols. To serve the living and true God. Amen. To serve who? The living and true God. You see, when you turn to God from Johnson... You can serve the true and the living God. Amen. Amen. But you got to turn from your idol. Amen. And Johnson is your yeah, idol. That's right. Do you hear what I said? That's right. Amen. I said Johnson is your idol. Amen. Do you hear what I said? Bible said they turned to God from idols to serve who? The living and true God. The living and the true God. And to wait for his son from heaven. Wait a minute. Amen. Got to be another mystery there, brother. <laughs> what kind of Bible that you got now? It's the Holy Bible. It's the Holy Bible. <laughs> Turn to God from idols. Amen. And to serve the true and the living God. Amen. And to wait for who? His son from heaven. You mean his son is in heaven and he's telling us to wait for him. Amen. Don't wait for Johnson. Wait for my son. Amen. Wait for my son. Amen. Corbin, you better be waiting for him. Amen. This brother here is waiting on his son to come. Amen. That's Do you right. hear what I said? Amen. He's waiting on his son to come. Amen. Hallelujah to God. Thank God for Jesus. Amen. Yes, he goes on to say, now it's two pages. I can't get all of this. He goes on to say, in John 19 and 30, Jesus cried, it is finished. This is when the sonship ended and ceased to exist anymore. Because Jesus said, it's finished. So sonship don't exist no more. Then why did Paul tell us to wait for his son from heaven? Amen. Who we waiting on? Amen. Who we waiting on? Amen. Think about it, y'all. How foolish is your teaching? Amen. Wait for his son from heaven. You know they preached that that was Johnson coming? Jesus Christ. They preached he was that son coming from heaven. Jesus. Let me tell y'all something. If you see anything look like Johnson coming, you better run. Run and don't look back. Amen. Amen. Do you hear what I said? Yes. Anything that resembles Johnson. You see him coming through the clouds, you better run. That's right. The wrong God coming for you. That's right. Do you hear what I said? My God, man, hallelujah to God. Run and don't look back. Amen. My yes. God, hear me talk. He goes on to say, he said, Paul, who was born out of due time, says in Hebrews 5 and 8, though he were a son. And look, y'all, he writes on here, what? You mean Paul said was a son? Exactly. <laughs> Paul said was a son, and he also said he is a son. Amen. Don't play word games with this Amen. preacher. Amen. Do you hear what I said? Yes, I lay down and was and sleep in ease. Amen. Do you hear what I said? Amen. Don't play with this preacher here. Amen. Because God just happened to give us a little knowledge of the Bible. Truly this man was the son of God. Amen. He said, Paul said in Hebrew 5 and 8, though he were a son. What? You mean Paul said was a son? He said, but you don't preach what Paul preached. And Paul, he said, and Paul said, if any preach another gospel, then that that you have received, let him be a curse. Mr. Murray, you are preaching another gospel. Because Paul, Paul plainly tells us that he was 
a son. He said, why don't you preach that? I do preach that. Amen. Amen. They did not want to accept the fact in that Bible that Jesus was the son of God. Amen. When Paul came on the scene and was preaching, Paul was letting them know this was the son of God. Amen. Y'all didn't want to accept him. He was the son of God. He was not preaching and saying he was as if he is no more. Amen. That's your lying mouth. Amen. Do you hear what I said? That's right. Now, Paul ain't going to contradict himself. No. You want to deal with was? All right. Let's step my God man right on your turf. He want to deal with was and is. Give me Acts, brother, 9 and 20. My God man, give me Acts 9 and 20. He want to quote was. No problem. I preach he was. Amen. My God, man, but let me show you what else I preach. Acts 9 and at verse 20. What you say, brother? And straightway. And, and we're dealing with that same Paul, brother Corbin. Amen. Same Paul. Same and straightway. He preached Christ in the synagogue. He preached Christ. Now, hey, hey, Corbin, this is after Jesus been put to death. Amen. Straightway he preached in a synagogue that what? He preached Christ in the synagogue. He preached Christ in the synagogue. And he is the Son of God. Now, 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 which one is wrong? Was or is? Both is right. Amen. Amen. He was the Son of God and He is the Son of God. Amen. Don't play no word games with me. Amen. Won't you preach what Paul said? Paul said, well, Paul said, look at the scriptures concerning this teaching here concerning Paul preaching straightway that He is the Son of God. Amen. Is that what y'all Bible said? Amen. Amen. Foolishness, man. Amen. Foolishness. That's right. All of them got this false doctrine from Bainman Street, Bishop Johnson. Brother out of Philadelphia on Franklin Avenue. He came with that same junk. That same junk, my God, in Virginia, got up telling the folk, the Bible said truly this man was the son of God. Don't play that with me. Amen. Don't play that with me. Amen. My God, man, I, yeah, he was the son of God, and he is the son of God. Amen. He both. Amen. Do you understand? Was and is. Hallelujah Amen. to God. My God, man, the Bible said again in Acts 9 20, what he said? And straightway he preached Christ in the synagogue. That what? That he is the Son of that God. That he is the Son of God. Do you believe that, Brother Cole? Amen. Shoot me another email. Amen. Tell me Paul lied. Shoot me one. Go ahead and tell me Paul lied. Let me tell you, in so many words, your former pastor said. Amen. Yes, he did. Amen. Your former pastor took that scripture, Acts 9 and 20, where the Bible swept, where the scripture's teaching the son of Paul, that he said he is the son of God. Your former pastor stated, I'm going to do battle with the scripture, and he said, and I'm going to win. Amen. Use a liar from hell. Amen. Amen. Do you hear what I say? Amen. Amen. Let God be true, Amen. and every man a liar. Amen. Amen. Ain't no man going to do battle with the scriptures and you going to win. No, sir. Now, apparently, you done studied your former Pastor Johnson, so you got that message where he said, I'm going to do battle with the scripture and I'm going to win. That's a fool God knows. Amen. Amen. That's right. Do you hear what I said? Amen. No apostles talk like that. No, sir. None of them did. Amen. Do you hear what I said? Amen. Give me Acts, brother, 836. My God, man, hear me talk. Acts chapter 8 and verse 36. What you say, brother? And as they went on their way. As Philip, my God, and his Ethiopian eunuch went on their way, what happened? They came into a certain they water. They came to a certain water. And the eunuch said, see, here is water. The eunuch said, see, here is water. What doeth hinder me to be baptized? What hinder me from baptism? And Philip said. What did Philip say? If thou believest. If thou believest. With all thine heart. With all thine heart. Thou mayest. Thou mayest. And he answered and said. What did he say? I believe. That what? That Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Amen. How many scriptures you want, Corbin? I believe that the Ethiopian eunuch lied. No, sir. Why didn't Philip straighten him out? Amen. Said, oh, no, he ain't, he, ain't, he ain't the son of God no more. See, Johnson said he ain't. <laughs> Johnson hadn't fell from his mother's womb. Amen. That lying spirit hadn't even got in him yet. Amen. Do you hear what I said? Right. Do you hear what I said? That's right. Lying spirit hadn't got in him yet. What's that yet? It wasn't there yet. It came on later. Amen. Do you hear what I said? Amen. My God, it came much later. Amen. What did the book say, brother? And he answered and said, What did he say? I believe. I believe that Jesus Christ. That Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Is God's Son. Amen. And you better believe it. Amen. First John 4:14. Let's walk, brother. My God, I want to help those that we can help. 
My God, First John chapter 4 and at verse 14, what you say, John? And we have seen. We have seen. And do testify. And do testify. That the Father sent the Son. That the Father sent the Son. To be the Savior of the world. To be the Savior of the world. Whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God. You mean is? Amen. Amen. Is the Son of God? Yes. Hey, hey, are y'all willing to confess he's the Son of God? Amen. 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 You better confess he is the Son of God. Amen. What did he say, brother? Whoever shall confess. Whoever shall confess. That Jesus is the Son of God. That Jesus is the Son of God. God dwelleth in him. God dwelleth in him. And he in God. Amen. You want to know whether a man is in God? Amen. Look at it. Don't, don't look at how he shouts. That's right. How he holler. Hey, hey, hey. Amen. Don't, don't, look, don't, look, don't look at how many followers he got. No, sir. Do he confess Jesus Amen. from God? Amen. 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 Uh, 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 okay, you're preaching about this. You're preaching about that. You're talking about this. You're talking. Okay, all that may be good, but I'm, I'm, I'm listening for something. That's right. Yes. I, I, I want to hear something. Amen. All right, that, 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 okay, I can go with that, but, but I'm, I'm listening for something. Amen. What you listening for? I'm listening for a confession. That's right. Amen. Do you hear what I said? That's right. I'm listening Listen for a confession that Jesus is the Son of God. Amen. If you can't confess that, Amen. you become a sounding brass. That's yes, right. And a tinkling cymbal. You simply making noise. Amen. Amen. I'm listening for a confession. Amen. And let me tell you something. Yo, my God, salvation is based upon that confession. Amen. That is the foundation of your salvation. Amen. If you can't confess that, I don't care what else you preach. I don't care what else you believe. If you can't confess that Jesus is the Son of God, Amen. nothing else matters. That's right. No, Give me Romans 10 9. No, sir. I want to show you, my God, this is the foundation here. Amen. And if you ain't got that foundation, you are you have built on sand. Amen. Do you hear what I said? My God, the Bible said that how the word gonna come and try every man's work. That's right. And that's what's taking place now. Amen. Romans 10 9. Let me show you the foundation, brother. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth. This is the foundation. Amen. If you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thine heart and believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead that God hath raised him from that's got to be in your heart Amen. brother Corbin that's got to be in your heart. Amen. Some say why you preach that so much because it's in my heart. Amen. Yes. Do you hear me talk? Amen. It's in my heart I got to talk about Hallelujah to God. It's in my heart, man. And I don't apologize for it. I want God to put more of it in my heart. Many is frustrated with this teaching. But let me tell you something. You better turn to another child. Amen. Because next week I got some more. Amen. And the week after that, I'm going to talk about it a little bit more. Amen. And as he showed me more, I'm going to talk about that. Do you understand? I'm going to talk about it a little bit more. Why? Because that's our salvation, Amen. Jesus, the Son of God. Amen. Amen. The Bible said, if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thy heart, believe in thy heart that God hath raised him from the dead, that God got him out the grave, thou shalt be saved. Amen. That's the foundation. Amen. And if you ain't got that, you don't have a foundation. Amen. Let God be true. Amen. And every man a liar. That's right. Every man. Amen. Do you hear what I say? Amen. My God, man, I thank God for your love. Bro. You see, long letters like this, man, laying me out, you don't know what this do for me. Amen. You, look here, this don't make me drop my head. So, oh, Lord, oh, Lord, no, sir, man. Look at even days when I'm down, when I read stuff like that, it lifts me up. I said, boy, I feel like preaching now. Do you hear what I say? I was a down a little bit, but my God, where Terry at? My God, we tell it's time to teach now. Amen. I need a reader. Amen. It's time to go to work Amen. now. They fight Jesus. Amen. And you just woke me up now. Amen. You just encouraged me. Amen. You just motivated Amen. me. Amen. Hallelujah to God. Amen. It don't make me drop my head. Amen. It, it encourages me. Amen. Do you understand? That's right. Because I got a knowledge of the Bible. Right. This is not a new thing. Amen. You hypocrites been fighting down through the years. Amen. Amen. Your father, the devil, just my gun, and got in some separate wounds now. Amen. But you, then you've been fighting down through the years. That's right. They didn't want to accept the fact that Jesus was the Son of God when he walked here. By God, man, even after he rose from the dead, they didn't want to accept the fact he got out of the grave. They offered money to say somebody stole his body. That's right. You hypocrites are that new. Amen. You never knew, man. Amen. No. Do you Amen. understand? Amen. My God, man, your former hypocrite brothers and sisters that fell asleep. Now your father that got in you, got you, got you picking up where they left off at. That's right. 
Do you hear what I say? Amen. I don't apologize for it. No, sir. My God, I'm hitting it head on by the help of God. Amen. As I said to my brother yesterday, I'm not sidestepping nothing. Amen. If you, if you want us to sidestep it, you're in the wrong place. Amen. God gave us the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. Not to put it under a bush. I'm not trying to put it under a bush. And I'm not trying to get along with everybody. Amen. All that believed Amen. were together. Amen. That believe. believe. If you don't believe the Son of God live, you cannot fellowship with me. Amen. Because I'm going to talk about it every chance we get. Amen. Do you hear what I say? Amen. Hallelujah to God. Folks don't understand what ministry is about. No, sir. They got this Rodney King syndrome. Amen. Can't we all just get along? <laughs> if you believe the gospel, we can. <laughs> but if you don't, we cannot. Amen. How can two walk together? Amen. Except they agree. Amen. You don't believe this? I ain't trying. Look here. My God, man. Look here. If you want me to come preach and fight, I'm coming. But you better listen to these programs before I get there. Amen. Because it ain't going to be nothing different. Amen. But now, if you don't believe this, I cannot put you up here. Amen. The scriptures condemn me to give you a pulpit. That's right. You get up, my God, with your damnable doctrine that our Savior don't live. Amen. John said, if they don't break this doctrine, Amen. don't you allow them in your house. And don't you bid them God speak. Amen. That's what John said. That's right. And I'm determined, my God, man, to follow what they left on record. Yeah. You don't bring this doctrine, you come and sit right in the congregation. I will show you hospitality. You can sit up here, but getting here behind this mic, it won't happen. Amen. No, sir. Not with that doctrine you want. No, sir. Do you hear what I say? Amen. Not with that doctrine you want. I'm not playing games with this. Do you hear what I say? No, sir. What did he say, brother? That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth and the Lord Jesus and, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. All right. He goes on to say, you got to be an infidel to ignore scriptures and come with a lie in your mouth trying to justify sonship lives. I'm an infidel. Because I say what the Bible says. That the Son of God lives. Amen. If that's your definition of an infidel, you're looking at an infidel. Amen. Do you hear what I said? If that's your definition of an infidel, you're looking at one. He goes on to say, my next question is, is who's coming back? God or the Son of God? He said, my Bible tells me in Revelation 1 and 8, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is, which was, and which is to come the Almighty. And there's only one Almighty, and the one that is coming is God. Let me tell you something. Let me help you, brother. You, you give some good scriptures. Amen. But the only problem, you give me scriptures that you don't understand. Amen. Look. If you're trying to justify your doctrine, no more son of God, that's the wrong scripture to give you. That's my scripture. Amen. Do you hear what I said? You can't use that scripture right there, brother. You're quoting what you don't understand. Amen. Do you hear what I said? <laughs> look, look now. He said what his Bible said. All right. Let me help. <laughs> he first asked, who's coming back? All right. Let me show you who's coming back. And then we're going to go to Revelation and put the icing on the cake with your scripture to show you who's coming back. But let me first show you who's coming back. Give me Acts 3.19. Give me Acts chapter 3 and at verse 19. My God, let the apostle do some talking here. Amen. What you say, brother? Acts 3.19. Repent ye therefore. Repent ye therefore. And be converted. And be converted. That your sins may be blotted out. That your sins may be blotted out. When the times of refreshing shall come. When the times of refreshing shall come. From the presence of the Lord. From the presence of the Lord. And he shall send Jesus Christ. Hold on a minute. Amen. Hold on a minute. Amen. You see, I love your questions. Amen. Man, you just encouraged me. Amen. He going to send who? Jesus Christ. You mean God going to send Jesus Christ? Amen. That who? Which before was preached unto you. You know the one that the apostles preached unto you? God going to send him. Amen. And what you say, brother? Whom the heaven must receive. You mean the heavens had to receive him? Until the times of restitution of all things. That's the end. Amen. 
So the heavens had to receive that Jesus until the times of restitution. And then the Bible said, then God going to send him. Amen. He going to send Jesus. Give me Acts 1, brother. Start at verse 8. Give me Acts 1 and that verse 8. What did it say, brother? But ye shall receive power. You shall receive power. After that the Holy Ghost has come after upon After the Holy Ghost has come upon and you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me. You'll be witnesses unto me. Both in Jerusalem. And? And in all Judea. Read it. And in Samaria. And unto the uttermost part of the earth. What did he say, brother? And when he had spoken these things. What happened? While they beheld. While they was looking at Jesus. He was taken up. Wait a minute, y'all. That Jesus, son of God. Was taken up while they were looking at it. Amen. And what happened? And a cloud received him out of their sight. And Brother Corbin, I want you to remember that word cloud. Amen. A cloud received him out of their sight. Amen. A cloud received the Son of God, Jesus, out of their sight. Amen. Keep cloud in your mind. Amen. I'm going to help you with the clouds. Amen. What do you say, brother? And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven. While they was looking toward the heavens. As he went up. As he went up. Behold, two men stood by them in white apparel. Two angels stood by in white apparel. Which also said. What they said. You men of Galilee. You men of Galilee. Why stand ye gazing up into heaven? Why are y'all standing here looking into heaven? This same Jesus. Wait a minute, y'all. Amen. This same Jesus. Same Jesus. This same Jesus. This same. This same Jesus. Amen. Not a different Jesus. Amen. This, you know, that same Jesus that got out that grave and went up. That same Jesus. Amen. This same Jesus. What? Which is taken up from you into heaven. Into heaven. Into heaven. And shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. Amen. That same Jesus Amen. that went into heaven. My God, he's coming back just like you've seen him go out. Amen. Now remember that he, he went out in the cloud. Amen. Is that what the Bible says? He right. went out in the cloud. Amen. Give him Matthew, brother, 24 and 30. Amen. Give him Matthew 24 and 30. My God, I want to help you, Brother Corbett, if we can. Amen. My God, man, Matthew chapter 24 and that verse 30. My God, man, Jesus here going to let you know how he coming. Matthew 24 and 30. What did it say? And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. Hey, hey, this is at the end. Amen. Then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man where? In heaven. And what's going to happen? And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And? And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven. Wait a minute. They're going to see who? The Son of Man. The Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven? Amen. Wait a minute, y'all. The Bible said they're going to see the Son of Man. Wait a minute now. Son of Man, that's the one that came from David's house. Amen. Amen. That, the Son of Man? Amen. Look, he was called a Son of Man because he came from a man's house by the name of David. Amen. The Bible said they shall see the Son of Man Amen. doing what? Coming in the clouds of heaven. You mean a Son of Man? Amen. The one that came from David's house. Is coming in the clouds of heaven. Amen. Is that what y'all about to say? That's what he said. You mean the Son of Man coming? Right. And look, look, look. Hey, Brock Hall. Brock Hall. My God, man. Now, see, if you understand that, then you can understand Stephen being full of the Holy Ghost, what he saw right in heaven. Amen. Do you hear what I said? That's right. Yeah, look, look, look. If, if you can understand that, then you can understand Stephen being full of the Holy Ghost that looks steadfastly in the heaven. That's right. Remember the Bible said the Son of Man Amen. coming in the clouds of heaven. Amen. Give me Acts, brother, 755. Amen. Give me Acts 755. My God, man, all thy giving, Brother Corbett, get an understanding. That's right. Acts 755, what you see, Stephen? But he being full of the Holy Ghost. Stephen being full of the Holy Ghost. Looked up steadfastly into heaven. He looked up steadfastly right into heaven. And saw the glory of God. He saw the glory of God. And Jesus. And who? And Jesus. You mean he saw the glory of God? Amen. And he saw Jesus. Amen. What was Jesus doing? Standing on the right hand of God. Brother Corbett, let me help you. He had to be on the right hand of God to fulfill prophecy that he would be the power of God. Amen. Right hand signifies power. He's the power of God. Remember, that's the only body God begot through and by his own divine power that he allowed a woman to birth in the earth without the aid of a man. That's the power of God. Amen. That's why he was at the right hand of God. What did he say, brother? And said, Behold. Behold. I see the heavens open. Stephen said, I see the heavens open. And the Son of Man. Wait a minute. Amen. Wait a minute, y'all. Well, I'm telling you, that's got to be another misprint, man. <laughs> I see the heavens open. Amen. And the Son of Man doing what? Standing on the right hand of God. Standing on the right hand of God. I see the heavens open. And that same Son of Man that's going to come later on the, with the clouds, right now, he's standing on the right hand of God. Amen. Do you hear me talk? Amen. I see the Son of Man. And what are you doing, brother? Then they standing on the right hand of God. And then they cried out with a loud voice. And that's what they're doing today. And stopped their ears. Look at Corbin, my God, man, they don't want to hear this. No, sir. They stopped their ears. 
Amen. And stop that man saying something different than what Johnson said. Amen. That's right. Amen. Yeah, man. Amen. Totally the opposite of what Johnson said. That's right. Amen. Hear me talk. Amen. What you say, brother? Then they cried out with a loud voice and stopped their ears. Stopped their ears. And ran upon him with one accord and <laughs> cast him out of the sea. <laughs> but he mad. <laughs> this man preaching the son of God and then they got mad. So, Brother Corbett, here you got the Son of Man. Stephen seeing him in heaven. Matthew 24 and 30, Jesus lets you know the Son of Man coming in the clouds. Now, you quoted a Revelation chapter 1, verse 8, but let me help you. We're going to start at verse 7. Give me the Bible. Brother. Amen. Revelation chapter 1 and at verse 7. Let me help my brother if I can. Revelation 1, 7. What do he say, bro? Behold, he cometh with clouds. Behold, he cometh with what? With clouds. He cometh with what? With clouds. Y'all remember that word I told you to remember? Clouds. Amen. Hey, 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 Brother Carter, before we even get started good in Revelation, remember what the Bible said, the Son of Man was coming in the cloud. That's right. Now, this ought to let you know, it's already established who's coming. That's right. Behold, he coming with cloud. Amen. You ask me who's coming back? Look, behold, he coming with cloud. Amen. The Son of Man is coming with cloud. Amen. What's happening, bro? Behold, he cometh with cloud. And? and every eye shall see him. Every eye going to see him. Corbin, you're going to see him. Amen. Johnson going to see him. Amen. Do you hear what I said? What did he say, brother? And they also which pierced him. I have a question. Amen. Who was pierced? Amen. Was the father pierced? No, sir. Uh, hey, brother Corbin, you know good and well. <laughs> say like them old folk. You know good and well. Amen. That the father was not pierced. Amen. You know better than that. Amen. Do you understand? Johnson taught y'all better than that. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I said? Amen. You know the father was not pierced. Amen. All them that pierced him are going to do what? And every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. They're going to wail because of him. Even so, amen. Hey, Corbin, you better, you better hope you ain't on the well inside. Amen. amen. Do you hear what I said? That's right. What do you say, brother? I am Alpha and Omega. Hey, hey. Hallelujah. I'm Alpha and Omega. What are you talking, Jesus? I'm the beginning. Amen. We just read where he's the beginning Amen. of the creation of God. That's right. He's the firstborn of every creature. Amen. That's talking about Jesus, Amen. the Son of God. Amen. What do you say, brother? I am Alpha and Omega. I'm Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the ending. I'm the beginning and the ending. Remember the Bible said, then cometh the end. Amen. When the Son of God shall deliver the kingdom up to, the, up to his Father, he's the Alpha and the Omega. Amen. What you say, brother? I am Alpha and Omega. What? The beginning and the end, said the Lord. The beginning and the end, said the Lord. Which is? Uh, I, which is? Amen. Man, don't give me scriptures like this. Amen. Man, we sit down across our legs. Which is? Amen. That means he is right now. Amen. He exists right now. Amen. And what else? And which was? It's was. That's right. Was? Amen. In the beginning was the word. Amen. He was in the beginning. He is. He was. And what else, bro? And which is to come. You want to know who's coming back? The, the is and the was is coming back. Amen. Amen. Do you hear what I said? That's right. The is and the was is coming back. Amen. What you say? The Almighty. The Almighty. The Almighty. That's exactly right. Amen. He's the Almighty. Amen. Amen. Some say, well, 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 how is he the Almighty? His father gave it to him. That's right. right. His father gave it to him. Amen. Don't tell me he didn't. Amen. Unto us a child. Amen. Unto us a son is given. Right. My God, God of it. You better give me Isaiah 9, 6. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah to God. Amen. Let's go there. My, don't give me scriptures like this. My God, man. Isaiah chapter 9, is verse 6. Let me tell you something. You see, we didn't study tapes of Johnson. We didn't study him. Do you hear what I said? My God, man. Look, we, we, look uh, someone paid us a visit by the name of Jesus. <laughs> that opened our understanding. And when he opened our understanding, we don't need Johnson. We just need, as the song says, just a little more Jesus. Amen. Amen. That's all I need is just a little more Jesus. Amen. Not a little more Johnson. Amen. A little more Jesus. Amen. Amen. Isaiah 9, 6, what you say, prophet? Unto us a child is born. Everybody got to acknowledge. That's the son of God. Unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. Son is given. What he said? And the government shall be upon his shoulder. Government shall be on his shoulder. And his name shall be called. His name shall be called. Wonderful. He is wonderful. Counselor. He's the counselor. The mighty God. That same thing Revelation said. Amen. Call him the mighty God. Amen. What else, brother? The everlasting father. Somebody said. 
He said, ever that's the Father? By all means. Amen. By all means. Look here. When you, he said himself, when you see, see me, me, you see the Father. That's right. Amen. That's what he said. Amen. Does that mean he is the Father? Not at all. Amen. Because according to the script of Colossians 1, the Bible said that Father is invisible. That's right. When you saw the Son, you was looking at the image of the Father. Amen. You were looking at the image of the one you can't see. Amen. All thy getting, get an understanding. Amen. He was an express image of the Father's person. You can't see the Father. My God, the Bible said in St. John 1 and verse 18, no man has seen him at any time. The only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father, he have declared him. When you saw the Son of God, you was looking at all the Father, you're going to see him. Amen. 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 None of the apostles saw the Father. Amen. Don't mess with him. Amen. I said none of them did. Amen. Somebody said Paul saw him on the Damascus road. <laughs> no, you didn't. Yeah. Let me tell you, your, your, your forefathers lied to you. That's right. Paul did not see the father no, on the Damascus road. No, sir. Paul saw the son of God. Amen. Do you hear what I said? Amen. Remember the voice spake. My God, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? Saul said, Who art thou, Lord? Who are you? He said, I'm Jesus of Nazareth. Amen. Father didn't come from Nazareth. No, sir. Amen. Amen. Father did not come from Nazareth. Amen. Son of God did. Amen. That's what we saw. Amen. Do you hear what I said? What do you say, brother? And his name shall be called Wonderful, Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, Everlasting, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Go back to Revelation, brother. We ain't got no problem. My God, yeah, he's the Almighty. His Father gave him that. My God, Revelation chapter 1, pick up where you left off at, brother. I am Alpha and Omega. I'm Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the I'm end. The beginning and the end. Said the Lord. Said the Lord. Which is. Which is. And which was. And. And which is to come, the Almighty. What do you say, brother? I, John, who also am your brother and companion in tribulation, and in the kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ, was in the isle that is called Patmos, for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Give Christ. Give me verse 17, brother. Let's get straight to the point. My time about gone. What do you say? And when I saw him. When I, John said when I saw him. I fell at his feet as dead. I fell as a dead man when I saw the Son of God in heaven. Amen. Amen. I fell as a dead man. Amen. So I'm saying, that wasn't no Son of God. Keep reading. And he laid his right hand upon he me. He laid his right hand upon me. Saying unto me. What did he say? Fear not. Don't be afraid. I am the first and the last. You is Jesus. Amen. You mean you the beginning of God's creation. Amen. You the firstborn of every creature. Amen. You is before all things. Amen. He said I'm the first, I'm the last, and what else? I am he that liveth. I'm he that liveth. And was dead. Don't go to Revelation chapter 1. You don't know what you're doing. Amen. You don't know what you're doing. My God, man, you okay. You better look, you better hope and pray, my God, man, that we never look at that scripture. Amen. Because we know who that's talking about. That's right. Amen. He goes on to say, he states here. <clears throat> he said, now let's talk about your scripture, which you are unlearned and blinded by the devil. <laughs> Thinking you have something to justify a son of God is in heaven. He said, Hebrew 414. We have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God. He said, To someone is blinded and deceived of the devil, would look like a son of God went to heaven. He states, Hebrew 414, which states, The Son of God passed into heaven. To someone that is deceived of the devil, it would look like a son of God went into heaven. Uh, Brother Corbin, it don't just look like it. <laughs> That's what it said. Amen. Do you know what I said? Amen. That's what it said. Amen. To, so I'm blind and deceived by the devil because I read the scripture that says the son of God passed into the heaven and I believe it. Amen. So I'm blind and deceived of the devil because I believe what the Bible said. Amen. He goes on to say, if that is the case, when Isaiah said in Isaiah 9, 6, for unto us a child is born and unto us a son is given, he said that we should conclude a son was given at that time. He said, Isaiah said is given. He said before Mary conceived in her womb. And we know that the child did not exist during those days of Isaiah when he said that. Then how much more? Uh, should you believe a son went into heaven in Hebrews 4.14? And Paul said in Hebrews 5 and 8, though he were a son. Man, you, you're confused. And if I keep reading this, I'll get confused. <laughs> <laughs> Do you hear what I said? Look here. <laughs> you confused. 
And, and if I keep reading that, man, my eyes gonna cross. Amen. Do you understand? Amen. This is confusion. How you gonna? How you gonna? The prophet Isaiah was prophesying. That's right. Do you understand? The Paul then was telling you what done happened. Amen. What done happened? Isaiah was telling you a child is born. In other words, he's prophesying what's going to happen. Do you understand? When the apostles came along, they they, they preached what done already happened. And in some cases, they preached by God what was going to happen and that he was coming back. That's right. Come on, Brother Cook. Johnson taught y'all been there. <laughs> I would have hoped he did. <laughs> he went on to say, <clears throat> in my conclusion, your doctrine is damnable and false and a lie from hell. And unless you change your doctrine and line up with what Jesus and Paul said, you're leading yourself and those who listen to you straight to hell. Thank God for you, Brother Corbett. Amen. You certainly have encouraged me this day. Amen. I encourage you, brother. Yes. Seek the Lord that he may open your understanding. Because, brother, if you die, if you leave this world, saying that the Son of God don't exist, Jesus. to hell you go. Amen. Do you hear what I said? That's right. Because that means you have no advocate, Amen. you have no intercessor, Amen. and you have no high priest. None whatsoever. Do you hear me talking? Let me tell y'all something. This preacher here, I don't mind hitting this stuff head on. Amen. We're not sidestepping it. And I mean it. Right. We're going to preach God's word whether folk like it or not. Amen. Brother Cody, keep watching. Yes, sir. My God, man. Let me tell you something. You can go to the website. You can get my address. You can get my phone number. You can get it all. This preacher here, I'm not ducking and dodging none of you. Amen. God done gave us what we need Amen. to defend the gospel. I'm not ducking and dodging none of you. Absolutely. I'm not afraid of you. Amen. Do you understand? Any preacher, whether it be, you know, something about Philadelphia. <laughs> Amen. That stuff started at Bainbridge Street, crept over to Frankfurt Avenue, uh, and before I know it, my God, man, it's somewhere everywhere up there now. Uh, you Amen. fellas need to stop studying Johnson tapes. Amen. You better try to throw them tapes in the fire and burn that stuff up. Amen. Do you understand? Yes. Burn that stuff up. Amen. Amen. God ain't the God of the dead, but of the living. Amen. God got living preachers. Amen. Yes, he do. God ain't so limited, my God, that he's stuck with a dead man. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Hallelujah to God. Amen. You fellas, my God, are some of you. I don't know how old you are, Covet, but, but I'm aware of your organization. I know some of you, my God, went down to Johnson's grave site after he died, talking about in three days he's going to rise. Amen. He's still in the dust. Amen. He, and he ain't getting up till my Jesus raising him. Amen. Do you hear what I said? Jesus. Stand around the grave talking about he coming back. Yeah, he coming back. When my Jesus called for him to come back. Amen. Amen. And let me tell you something. Y'all better pray that my Jesus have mercy on him. That's right. Amen. I'm going to say that again. Amen. Amen. This man died. That's right. Preaching against the Son of God. He died fighting the Son of God. When you stand before the one that you denied, he's dead now. He can't pray. But you that are alive, you better pray that Jesus have mercy on him. Amen. Amen. You better pray. Do you not? All I can say, my God, man, is pray. Because if you die, if you die after this knowledge of Jesus, if you die, my God, denying him, to hell you go. Amen. That's right. That's what I can read. Amen. Do you hear what I say? Amen. My God, I thank God that God has opened our understanding. Yes, sir. I trust in this Jesus. Amen. I trust in this Jesus. I pray God that Johnson truly repented before he died. Now, whether he did or not, I don't know. I don't know. Amen. But I pray that he repented of that lie. I can tell you this. He done messed up a lot of y'all. Amen. He done messed up many of you organizations that are listening and watching. I got a call Thursday out of South Carolina, and they was telling me how this thing ain't just limited. How it's not just limited to the church of our Lord Jesus Christ, in which I knew that all, all the time. They started naming Bible Way, different organizations that adapted that doctrine. My God, the UPC, United Pentecostal Church. 
my God, the PAW, Pentecostal Assemblies of the World, they all adopted Bishop Johnson's false doctrine. No more son of God. Amen. And now folk today, Murray, just, just leave it alone. Just, you know, leave it alone. It seems like you're fighting. I am fighting. Amen. Amen. I, look, I, it, it, I don't want it to seem like I'm fighting. I am in a fight. Amen. Amen. I say like Paul. Yes, sir. Paul said we fought with beasts. Amen. At Ephesus, after the men of men, we're engaged in a battle here. Amen. And let me tell you something. I'm not waving the the white flag. Amen. I'm not waving. Amen. Let me tell you something. I made a promise to Jesus Christ a long time ago when I had some fighting hard against me. My God, God allowed me to see him in a dream. I got up out of my bed and I went in my office and I laid, I fell down on my knees and the Lord showed me who they was writing letters here to the church. He showed me their faith of them that were fighting against me. Only thing I could tell him was, Lord, you fight for me. Yes, and I'm going to fight for you. That your son is alive. Amen. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to stand up to my end of the bargain. Amen. I'm not letting it go. Don't tell me, let it go. It seems like you're fighting. I'm telling you now, we are in a fight. Amen. Amen. And I'm not, I'm yes. not waving a white flag. Amen. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Amen. Amen. And all you folk out there, you better believe it. Amen. Amen. But not to hell you go. Amen. Your apostles better repent of their lives. Amen. And I, I mean it from the depths of my heart. Amen. You that are listening and watching, we thank God for you. Appreciate you tuning in. Yeah. We thank God for what God is doing in this hour. Yeah, I appreciate it for it. Lord willing, we'll be back with you on next Sunday, 1.05 p.m. Central Time, 2.05 p.m. Eastern Time. I say to you up north that are watching, Lord willing, the end of June, we'll be in Florence, South Carolina, Lord willing. If you want to sit down and talk, Bible said, come let us reason together. Amen. This brother here is willing to sit and talk with you. But let me tell you something. My God, this here going to do the talking. Amen. Amen. Not Johnson books, not Johnson tapes. My God, not nobody else in Philadelphia's junk they done wrote. Amen. This right here going to do the talking. Amen. I commend myself to every man's conscience. You Amen. let me know when you're ready to talk. Amen. Do you understand? Amen. I love you now. Peace be unto you. Thank you.